A years-long investigation comes down to this. Hello. Hi, it's the police. Could you open up, please? Dawn raids across London, cracking down on the criminal gangs fueling mobile phone thefts on London's transport networks. At this property in North Holt, three men are arrested for handling stolen goods and money laundering. Meanwhile, at these luxury apartments in Brentford, one man thought to be the ringleader of the group is taken into custody. In the boot of his car, more than 200 smartphones with an estimated value of £60,000. And not far down the road at this storage warehouse, more phones. Well, this is one of the three storage units being searched today. And as you can see, officers have already seized hundreds of suspected stolen mobile phones and over £10,000 in cash. Well, the British Transport Police believe that many of these smartphones could have been stolen from passengers on London tubes and trains. They're then brought here, repackaged and sold abroad. This organised criminal network fuels the petty thieving that's taking place on a daily basis on the rail network. So taking out a gang such as this is going to make a significant impact in terms of London. Stolen smartphones are big business and bring in big money. Detectives believe the group buy handsets from a network of pickpockets before selling them on in bulk. It's thought most of the phones are sent to Dubai, where they can be sold for almost double their value in the UK. Last year, there were 5,000 thefts reported on London Underground. More than half of those were mobile phones. This morning's raid saw 13 people arrested and more than 1,000 phones seized. The British Transport Police hope that by dismantling these criminal networks from the top, they can make travelling in the capital safer. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.